Hello, we are going to um, discuss the uh, contribution uh, margin approach in your segmented uh, income statement. So, this is for responsibility accounting, okay, under your uh, decentralized operation. And uh how are we going so dito we are required to um present no a contribution uh, format income statement so pag contribution margin format how are we going to do that so you have sales you will deduct all the variable cost no then you have now here your contribution margin okay then after that you have to deduct your traceable wait traceable uh, fixed expenses then what are we going to call the result after deducting the traceable uh, fixed expenses we have the segment margin okay then we are going to deduct the common fixed expenses. No? Uh, although hindi na ginagamit ngayon anak ng CD tsaka DVD, but for the sake of uh, <laughs> illustration, okay? For the sake of illustration, okay? Wait. Uh, we have here, first column should be for the CD, and then the next column will be for the DVD. So we have to know the sales and ay nako naman, diba? Ilong talilong, ayan. Um, what is our sales price? It is 8 and dito it is 25. Then Okay, that will be the sales price. Then the variable cost is uh, 3.2 and 17.5. Ito yan, class O. Dito kinukuha. And then let's plot already the traceable fixed expenses. Ito yan, o. Diba? So, plot na natin. What is the traceable fixed expenses? 138,000. And then we have here forty five thousand. Okay, so you we need to compute for how much is the sale, and we need to compute for how much is the variable cost. Okay, and ano sabi sa atin? Uh, produced and sold. So parehas yung a uh, produce no and sold yun ang crucial dito no that your production is equal to sales that's the scenario uh, crucial kasi yon pagka ganyan pagka gumagawa kayo ng contribution margin format okay uh, there is a difference in income with absorption costing kasi yung alam niyo traditional presentation okay so what are we going to do? Um, how many for CD? We have uh, 37,000. Ilagay ko na lang muna dito, class. Uh, the quantity is 37,000. Uh, wait, 500. And we have 18,000. So what are we going to do? The sales would be you have 8 multiplied by 37,000. And we have for the DVD, we just have to multiply by 18,000. And then uh, that is for sales. Then we have to, parang may mali dito. Plus... 18,000 multiplied by 17.5. Ah, 
Okay. Ayan. Uh, for CD, we have 37,500. And for DBB, it is 18,000 for... Ah, naka-ano siya class. Doon ko siya na-multiply sa ano. Sa costing. Yan ang nga sinasabi. 25. Okay. 450,000. Then, the variable cost will be uh, 37 multiplied by 3.2. And, okay, we have 18 multiplied by 750. Okay. So, we can now have your contribution margin. Okay. You deduct the so we have 180,000 and for you have 135. Okay. So let's uh, yeah. then for the segment margin, how are we going to do this? Just have to deduct the traceable. In this problem, at least, hindi kayo yung magte-trace. Diba? Hindi kayo yung mag-allocate. Pero there are problems that you need to allocate. Okay? Siyempre, pagka, pagka common, so natin ilalagay yon. Dapat may column tayo dito ng total. ba? So, all we have to do is uh, yan. So, yan. Wait. Kasi kailangan dito natin i-deduct yung common expenses dito sa total. Diba? Yan. Nang hindi kayo, uh, nang maalala nyo na uh, sa total, i-deduct ang common expenses. Okay? Ilan yung common expenses natin sa problem? Ito, 105. So, we have here 105,000. Okay. And how much will be the net? Ito na yung magiging net of revenue na ito. Okay. Net operating income. So, we have um, yeah. Now, when we have the result already. So, what would be the benefit of knowing the segment margin? This, this would be crucial to determine the performance, diba? because this is a performance measure. Any unit, or in this case, any product that has you know, a negative segment margin has to be considered uh, to be discontinued. Why? Because it would uh, reduce the value of the, the amount that can cover for the common fixed expenses. As long as you have a positive segment margin, then by all means, you can continue the selling of your product or you can, t can continue the operation of your uh, subunit. Okay? So, let me stop at this point. Then, we're going to have another set of problems. Okay? Thank you and good day.